Zero day attacks have been happening pretty frequently, and so far, there have been 11 that have happened this year, and nobody is happy to hear about this. This is the Digital Prepper, and today, I'm going to be talking about zero day attacks, what they are, why you shouldn't panic when you see these headlines, and what you can do to stay safe. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So to start off, we do need to understand what a zero day attack actually is. To put it simply, it's an unknown exploit in the technological landscape that hackers take advantage of before the developers have had the chance to fix or patch it. This can create complicated problems well before anyone realizes something is wrong because even the developers wouldn't have known that something was wrong. In fact, a zero day attack leaves no opportunity for detection. There is a timeline to how these exploits happen. First, you have a developer make software, but unknown to them, there is a vulnerability. Then a bad actor takes advantage of it before that developer has a chance to fix it. And finally, the developer catches on and writes a patch to fix the exploit. Once a patch is written and applied, the exploit is no longer called a zero day exploit. And sometimes these attacks are rarely discovered and fixed right away. However, it often can take months and sometimes even years depending on the software before a developer learns about the vulnerability that led to an attack. With that being said, you may have seen articles and news stories saying things like you need to uninstall programs like Google Chrome because of a possible exploit. Unfortunately, some of these articles are either plain wrong or are giving you misinformation. Just as a tangent, after you watch this, please take a look at my other video explaining the dangers of disinformation and misinformation to avoid things like this. I'll leave a link in the description or you can click the card in the right hand corner to get to that video. As I was saying, looking at a specific example, on October 11th of this year, there were articles everywhere saying things like you need to uninstall Google Chrome immediately because of an exploit. Now basically what this exploit was, was it compromised a protocol that your browser uses for secure things like banking, which is a huge issue, don't get me wrong. However, it's no excuse at all for any unsupported statements about this issue. Google simply said that patches were coming and several have obviously been already applied since then. They're usually good on finding and fixing exploits as soon as they're aware of it and your browser usually automatically updates itself. However, you can manually update as well if you're not sure. The main point I'm trying to make is that Google Chrome or even the other major internet browsers are usually a pretty hard target for hackers. It would take a lot of effort to find any vulnerabilities and use them, and when they are found, they usually are fixed pretty quickly and sent to the users before any issues arise. So again, just double check what you may be reading as you can't trust everything you see on the internet. So how can you stay safe from zero day exploits? Well. As we've seen with the very definition of them, you can't really prevent them. However, you can take steps to make sure that your devices are safe in case of them. For example, keep your software up to date to ensure that security patches are in place and to reduce risk of malware infection. For some of your devices, you might want to actually limit how many applications are on them because the less applications you have downloaded, the less data you're putting at risk, and the less risk of a malware infection from a zero day exploit would be on those devices. Use a firewall, which can either be a software one like Windows Defender, which all Windows PCs should have, or a hardware firewall like Firewalla to monitor and block suspicious activity. And finally, do educate yourself on zero day exploits and seek out solutions when these vulnerabilities are discovered. 
I'll go ahead and leave some links in the description for you to seek out some good information. Overall, browser hacks are nothing new. Browsers are complex pieces of software, and all browsers have had major vulnerabilities. Most of the time, we go throughout our day and wouldn't even know that it was compromised because the companies do keep these things updated. Now, to clarify, I'm not saying to blindly trust these companies either. I'm more saying before you panic and see an article saying that you need to delete this application right now or you're going to get hacked, make sure that the thing that you're panicking about is actually legitimate and be sure to do your research. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.